Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I'm really excited for this video. After we got the Intelligence Annex article focusing on the new expertise system this past Tuesday, this was the follow-up video I was most excited to do. But given it's not even related to the expertise system at all, I decided to do the other uh, difficulty-based one first um, that came out on, what was that, Wednesday. Um, now you might be thinking, what the hell am I talking about? Well, in the final words of this article, Massive actually let us in on what this month's December Intelligence Annex article is going to focus on in the next few weeks here. It read, and I quote, Next time around, we will provide you more information about the improvements we are currently working on for our seasons, which will be implemented starting next season. Oh, people. Maybe I'm in the minority on this one, but I have some high hopes for this. I'm very curious to find out what changes and improvements they made to the seasonal format. I understand understand that a large part of the player base has become very disillusioned with the Division 2 seasons. You hate the manhunts, the actual lack of new content, and I get it, those are totally fair criticisms. However, I'm a big believer in the concept of seasonal content. I think, if done right, seasons and continually released content in that format can be extremely effective at offering players with a persistent reason to return and spend time in the game, and I don't think Division 2 seasons are all that bad. I think there's actually a fair amount that they get right. Obviously, there's parts that they get wrong too, and that's what I'm really hoping we get to see changed with this coming update and with the reignition of Division 2's engines overall. So even though we're probably only like three weeks away from that next article and finding out what the actual changes are going to be, I'm still going to do this video speculating on what I'd like to see and what I think we might see. Sorry, not sorry. I'm too invested in the idea of Division 2 getting seasons right because I think it could be hugely beneficial for the long-term reception and retention of the player base once these new seasons start up in February. And so I will be very interested to hear all of your thoughts on this topic too. Be sure to leave yours down below. I think first off, I just want to go through my wish list for changes to the seasons, my, you know, perfect scenario changes doesn't mean I think even half of this will actually happen but if I could just snap and have these things be a reality this is what I'd want to see those include one a slower and more meaningful reward track I think the actual contents of the current reward tracks that we've seen in seasons one through four are great new guns gear exotics cosmetics all of it and we'll get back to that but it kind of takes the wind out of the sails of a new season when you finish the reward track literally 12 hours after a three month season goes live. If you go and do the resource convoy farms, then you have all the new stuff immediately. And it just detracts from kind of the fun that could be there in my opinion. So I'd rather see an alternative leveling process for that that isn't just directly correlated to base XP gain. Maybe you get rewarded for participating in different types of content in the game. I don't know. I'll probably get flame for that one. Um, but like I said, it's just my wish list. Doesn't mean it'll actually happen. All right, number two, harder and more rewarding leagues. I can't remember which video it was in, but I know I talked about this not that long ago, so I'll keep it short. Plus, I'm sure many of you will know and agree with what I'm talking about. Leagues used to have heroic difficulty missions, and that got taken away. I'd like to see them come back so that all varieties of players in the game have relevant content to them that they can uh, participate in and be challenged in. Plus, we saw a big rework to the global event reward structure with the introduction of the star system and the spending of those stars on personalized rewards at the base of operations. And that wasn't a replacement of the pre-existing 10-tier reward track. It just layered on top of it. And so I feel like uh, that leaves leagues uh, behind a bit in their potential for excitement and relevancy. Uh, so on top of some harder difficulties, let's see some improvements to their rewards. Maybe tie in specific rewards to uh, specific clear times on each mission instead of just larger XP boosts. So, for example, you would get like a named item cache if you clear tier 7, an exotic for tier 8, backpack for tier 9, you guys get the idea. I feel like that'd be pretty cool, and paired with harder difficulties, it would just be an easy way for Massive to make players care again about leagues. Okay, moving on to number three. This one's going to be a shocker. Actual new main missions for the Prime Manhunt target. This one seems pretty self-explanatory. Seasons 1 through 4 saw us take on our final target in new variations of existing missions. There'd obviously uh, usually be a few new mechanics, uh, one or two route changes that we were used to, new dialogue, uh, but it's all the, still the same areas that we've seen before, and that's not nearly as exciting as new areas to explore would be. So again, I don't know how likely or feasible this is, but it would be really cool to see four new main missions throughout the duration of year four, obviously one per season, four seasons per year, who knows. But I think if they were to do this, it would give people uh, much more of an incentive to play through and complete each season if there were both a new skill mod and a brand new main mission awaiting them at the end. Plus, that would probably give Massive a better opportunity to tell cooler stories within the actual uh, mana targets as opposed to having to fit them in into older areas. Oh, you know, you guys know what I just thought of? Imagine one of the Sokolovas, either Natalia or someone else, is the prime target of one of these upcoming seasons, and we get to use the helicopter to fly to the main mission somewhere, like, up north somewhere where there's actual snow. 
I'm just going to table this before it gets too out of hand, but oh my lord, that would be sweet. Okay, so last up, number four, actual seasonal content. I'm sure we're all well aware by now that seasons one through four delivered us basically nothing in the form of new actual content. They repurposed older content to make it worthwhile to do again, but nothing new has come from the seasons themselves. It was always each associated title update that brought us new stuff to do, like Iron Horse or The Summit, and while this is probably the least likely thing on this list to come true, especially when their wording was improvements to our seasons, but one can dream. Now, I'm not going to go out of hand and say each season should bring us three new open world zones with control points and quests and a new DZ and all that. That's just not realistic. I'm sorry to say. However, some form of actual new content that maybe plays into how you rank up your season level, reward track, etc., that'd be pretty cool. And this could be a variety of new things. Maybe they do a small chunk of a new open world area, not, you know, the three zones, like I was just exaggerating, but uh, maybe it's something like the Pentagon or Coney Island where you fly to an isolated location, there's one safe house where everybody has their social space, and then you head out into a new area to complete new objectives. And it wouldn't be that big, even if it was just like a three by three block square area with a few uh, building interiors, maybe a few rooftops, that'd be really sweet. Or if that's too much for them to churn out on a three month basis, I get it. Just add in a new open world activity that mixes with our pre-existing, uh, you know, resource convoys, public executions, territory controls, you get the idea. Four new activities for the year that rotate every three months, I'd take that over nothing. And then maybe completing those gives you extra seasonal XP and rewards over other types of content. All right, well again, regardless of how likely or unlikely any of those four things may or may not be, that would be my ideal wish list for a season revamp type of deal that they're teasing for this new update. Now that I've listed those things off, let's circle back around and I'll share what I feel seasons already do well and get right. And that way you can kind of see why I think those four changes would uh, specifically uh, would be nice. And I'll then pass it off to all of you and hear what you have to say. So there's really two big things here that I believe the Division 2 seasons do well. And you don't really have to do that much to make a solid season. So it's not like the model they currently have isn't fixable. Uh, those two things are the quantity of loot and rewards that you get and the consistency and pace at which new events roll out. Let's start with the first one. You'd have to be a pretty unsatisfiable person to claim that the amount of new stuff per season we get isn't pretty solid. At a minimum, we can expect from every new season two new high-end weapons, a new brand set, four new named items across those new high ends, one new gear set, and two new exotics. And that's at a minimum. Uh, you know, through seasons one through four, we've seen exceptions to that where there's been even more. Uh, in season one, we got multiple new gear sets and brand sets. And in season two, we got uh, four new talents, two for weapons and two for gear. So it's not like there's a lack of new stuff. There's always plenty of new things to play with. But part of the issue is that you earn it all so quickly through that reward track, like I was talking about, and through the... Um, the targeted loot availability, which frankly, they shouldn't go into rotation until after the season ends. But yeah, <laughs> you earn it all so fast that it inherently becomes less meaningful and exciting, in my opinion. But regardless, the amount of new stuff we get is always satisfactory, and the amount of rewards you earn from season-based things has always been solid. Whether it's the reward track, event rewards, field proficiencies after you reach rank 100, there's always a lot of stuff. So yeah. And then secondly, like I said, the rate at which uh, new events are cycled in and out of rotation always keeps something new happening. Now, the individual interest in those events is sometimes questionable, and I really hope that's something they can address with these improvements, such as the leagues, like I mentioned, but it's not like the... Uh, consistency or pacing of the events is an issue because they're quite constant and that's always a good thing to have. In theory, there's always something new and continual to be doing and working towards in the game and that's nothing but a good thing. So my point with all of this, folks, is that the core of what makes a season good is already there. We have new stuff to earn and participate in in between these larger content drops, but with these improvements, if they can just shore up that content and those events even further, nail down some uh, more satisfying progression, maybe increase the amount of content we're being offered by just a little bit, and make the overall story more worthy of investment and have greater payoff at the end with an actual new main mission, that would be fantastic. I'm really anxious to see what kind of changes we can expect to see with season starting in February and season eight. Like I said at the start, nailing the season structure and experience is undoubtedly one of the best things for the game that Massive could do right now in the long term. It would just take so much pressure off of the other main content that we, we usually receive in each title update if we know that there's a worthwhile and exciting season accompanying it. Because I think that's part of why you saw so much pressure and backlash on the summit uh, back when it came out, because people don't really consider the seasonal model currently as content. And so now now that I know that Massive is planning changes and improvements to the seasons in some capacity, 
I wouldn't say more so, but I'm probably equally as excited to find out what that entails as I am what the new game mode is. Like I said, I'm a big supporter and believer of the seasonal content model, and I think it has a huge potential to satisfy a given player base in between the bigger content drops. So I'm counting the days until this next Intelligence Annex truly, because with a solid new game mode and a new season model that's worthy of our time and investment, Division 2 is going to come back with a bang. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on to be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on the idea of improvements being made to the seasonal model. Are you as excited for this as I am and similarly think it has a huge potential for the game if done right? And what do you speculate the uh, changes they're going to introduce will be? Whatever you're thinking, be sure to leave it down below. I'll be super curious to sift through everyone's thoughts. And um, yeah, everyone, that is just about going to do it. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Hope you have a wonderful day, and until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.